Hi, welcome to Cooking with Caitlin. Today we're going to be preparing a sweet, delicious treat. Now, if you're anything like me, I love ice cream. I could eat it at every meal, 365 days out of the year. But unfortunately, that's probably not a healthy choice. So today I'm going to show you how to make something very similar to ice cream using frozen bananas. So here I have five frozen bananas that I've cut into half inch slices. And it's really key in this recipe to make sure you use overly ripe bananas. They have the most flavor, um, they'll make your ice cream taste even better. Uh, take the peel off, freeze them whole, or you can chop them up like I did. I prefer to chop them up because then I know each banana gets a good freeze on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add our frozen bananas to the blender. Try to do it without spilling any bananas. You know what, I'm just gonna use my hand. It's easier, faster. And make sure you freeze your bananas for an hour because they will melt fast. Okay, that's the last of it. Next, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of milk. About, looks about like a cup of strawberries, whole strawberries, okay and then two tablespoons of honey. Okay. Pop your lid on. And blend. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. It looks good. Now, if you want yours to be more of an ice cream consistency, you can add less milk. But personally, I love a good milkshake. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk and blend that together. And you'll see how smooth the consistency is. And it's nice. For more cooking with Caitlin recipes, go to 5healthytowns.org. And I'm just going to grab one. And as you can see here, the skin just peels back nice and easy. Okay, so now that we've removed the peel from the tomatoes, we're going to pop them in the food processor. 